Hey everyone, Henry from Smoky Hills Outdoor Store and GoIceFish.com and here is going to be probably one of our most requested videos. People are always asking about rattle reels and there's good reason. Um, every really big walleye I've ever caught has been taking a nap on a rattle reel and uh, everybody's got different opinions of which ones they like. So what we decided to do is line up the majority of the rattle reels that we sell both in store and goicefish.com and I want to say this right away if there's any other companies that do sell rattle reels please contact me I'd be more than happy to sell your products because we love to uh, get into those cool new uh, ice fishing products maybe something we haven't seen before so that being said I'm going to go through every single rattle reel I'm going to tell you what I like what I don't like, I'm going to be totally honest about them. I'm going to show you every single color, all the different uh, line materials, and then how I like to rig my uh, setup. Uh, you might want to do it different, and that's totally cool with me as well, but I'm going to show you what I like to do. So, let's do a video. We're going to go through everything, and we're going to start right here with one of the very, very famous ones. comes from Fergus Falls, uh, one of the original rattle reels. And uh, it's a wooden rattle reel. It's got a simple tension screw on it. It's got a nice loud bell to it. And they do make quite a few different designs. Of course, they make these, uh, call it a bracketed one. And what that bracket is, it's kind of for uh, if you want to mount it really close to the wall or even the ceiling. Then, of course, we're going to get into the next one. Same rattle reel, but with a longer arm that swings. Uh, this company also went and changed the pin design this year, which I kind of think is cool. It's very simple. They just put a pin in there so you can pull the pin out and store your rattle reel. That's an important thing as well. Next one, uh, a lot of people like this because they don't have to put any holes into their fish house. It's just a clamp on, you know, it'll go on spots like that, maybe even on a cupboard. There's a cover right here, and you can fish a hole, and uh, they work really uh, well for portables as well. Um, all of these rattle reels, you know, the setting is going to be a little bit more crude um, when you have a tension screw like that, uh, which is not necessarily a problem, especially if you want to fish with a small bobber. Uh, a lot of people like to fish with a spool bobber so they don't have quite as much tension on there and uh, the fish can kind of pull it that just has a little bit of uh, resistance or uh, of course you can set it you know completely open so we're gonna move on to the new guy for us and this is quick clamp quick clamp makes a ton of accessories we did uh, a, a full uh, video on all the different stuff. I just wanted to show you that you can also mount their very inexpensive Very simple rattle reels. You can also mount those, you know, into a wall if you want to do that and Next up is the little red guy one of our most expensive rattle reels <laughs> that still has a hinge You know what it works well. There's nothing wrong with these. They still catch big fish I can promise you that just a lot less adjustment obviously a little bit simpler of a rattle reel but there's absolutely use for those. This guy right here, boy, this has been around for a very, very long time. Uh, it's a similar company that makes the fish hole buddy hole covers. And this one is actually a glow. As you can see, it'll glow a little bit of blue there. And uh, they also make this in different colors. So I'm going to go over here. Here's the... Uh, the black one and here's the glow blue one and uh, they've been around forever they do work really well um, they have a different setup to adjust them so they are pretty loud they do not have a tension screw they have these little rubber grommets if you want to get in there for me Josh right there and basically what you do is, is the rubber grommets is going to determine how much tension you put on them so these are going to be better if you want to run something that's going to be more free spooling so that the fish can actually take the weight so i would definitely recommend using a barber with these otherwise you might uh, get a crow's nest on that next product over absolutely love this company catch cover has been around for ages they make very very good quality products um, i've never had any issues with catch cover products and uh, this rattle reel has been around forever now I will say this uh, we're not gonna go through all the rod holders because that's a whole episode by itself but 
Uh, you can pretty much get a rod holder for any one of these versions. There's also different brackets and different ways to mount things. And I'll show you how to do those real quick. So, if you have the catch cover, this is called the rattlesnake. It's been around forever. You can obviously bend this in a lot of different directions. It does have a set screw, but it feels a little bit better than most of the other ones. It is very loud, and it does freeze pull really nice if you need it to. Of course, this just clips out of the hole, so you have these pucks. And we do sell these pucks as two-pack separates as well. And what's cool about them is that Northern Lights actually made a bracket for it. So if you want to come back here, Josh, if I take this, install it on the back of that guy, where that hook is, that, whoops, I'm upside down, that will go into that. So that's a pretty cool setup. Northern Lights with one of these brackets will go into the catch cover puck. So that's another product so you can cross over products. I would definitely check out this guy if you haven't before. Two of our most, uh, the probably the best selling products we have on Go Ice Fish is going to be the Northern Lights Rattle Reel and the Ultimate Rattle Reel. And let me start with the Northern Lights Rattle Reel. We did a full video on this, uh, me and Josh did one, so I'm not going to go into extreme detail. But essentially this is currently the only powered one that we stock. It's got LED lights inside and when the little magnetic tab moves into a different position, what it does is it glows. So if you set this with a set screw, once again just a simple set screw on these, and if it, the fish pulls it, very loud bell, you're going to get that light turn on, so you're going to absolutely know how to do it. Cool thing about them, three ways that you can do them. You can go 110, you can go 12, or you can go battery pack. And because these LEDs use so little power, it's really not going to drain your battery or your battery pack for that matter. Uh, very easy way to mount these. Like I said, there's that extra bracket that you can use on these. And they have tons of other accessories. Let's go to the last one. So we've got the ultimate rattle reel and what makes the ultimate rattle reel different is going to be the way that the set screw works um, definitely a lot different so these guys are way more adjustable you can see that i'm locked and if i open this up and i give it a whirl she'll go for quite a while unless i stop it right there so definitely the most adjustment on this and i actually have luck using these without necessarily using a barber because I can put enough tension on this to where my light northern can pull the line out but the fish isn't going to feel a ton of resistance. Very easy way to install these. There's a great carrying case for these as well. So if you want to store them as a red carrying case, check those out online. I do really like them because the sponge is pre-drilled for it. And then we are going to move on to the different colors. So. Our northern lights, our lit up northern lights, you got a green one, an orange one, a blue one, a purple football team one, as uh, we showed, and of course a pink one. So if you want to see these colors, go and check them online, and don't forget we can also use the catch cover bracket with us. Then we go into our ultimate rattle reels, they have a pretty big selection. The only one I'm missing right now is the camo. Uh, because they actually redid the camo one uh, the last couple ones we did they weren't happy with the finish and uh, we actually replaced them So that was really cool uh, Blue black green red of course. We got pink camo then we've got a green camo and The flag which is really cool That being said these do have a couple of cool options and I'm going to show you the first one Which is obviously just the standard bracket That we had over here, right? So you can put multiple brackets in your house. You don't have to buy a rattle reel for every single one. And then the next product is going to be for a cat's cover, not to be confused with catch cover. So I'm going to show you right down here what we have going on. So this guy has got some hardware on the back. And what you're going to do is you can fish your rattle reel and just pull it out when you have a bite on these. And then mount right in here. By just swapping out this nut, taking off the long arm, and putting that bracket on there. You can also use this bracket if you want to install them on the ceiling, because that's doable there as well. So I just wanted to show everybody that. And then, once again, you know, these are really strong. We don't have any issues with the cat's covers breaking. So uh, you just got to watch out, obviously, if you're going to walk by there. But 
great product. I'm gonna bring this back over to the table and uh, let me show you a couple of, uh, like I said, my favorite things to do here. So, we're gonna start with the simple stuff. Um, line. We've got tons and tons of different kinds of line. And uh, this actually has some, actually let me show everybody the line. That has some suffix on it, which is this guy right here. I've got some suffix. This is coated braid, so it's easy on the hands. It says 30 pounds, but I'm pretty sure you can pull a card with it. Very strong stuff. Uh, this is 50 yards, so that's plenty. And then, of course, we have, which everybody loves right now, Northern Lights Rattle Reels makes all these different kinds of lines, which I love because now you can mix two colors. You don't have to. You can just get black or white if you want to. But now you can mix and match all these different colors with all these rattle reels or maybe do pink with a pink purple with a purple we got a blue we got an orange and we got a green you know maybe mix it up if you have a favorite team that plays uh, maybe you can make their colors with those as well so you definitely want to use this line not because I just want to sell you some line but the simple fact is is that mono tends to old memory and it's a lot harder to reel back up uh, Josh will know it's <laughs> you know once it's off it gets tangled it gets knotted this stuff's a lot harder to knot up it's also a lot easier on your hands pulling it up so I definitely would recommend it the northern lights is a hundred foot I would probably put one of these on every rattle reel I wouldn't cut it in half I know there's 50 foot but if you start fishing that 25, 30 foot of water, you only have about 20 foot left. So I don't feel too comfortable with that, especially if the fish really runs with it. So I like to have 100 on there, and this is going to last you a lifetime, really. It's not going to be like mono that you have to redo it. Now, that being said, I do get a question quite often. And, um, you know, we need to not feel like uh, everybody needs to know everything when it comes to ice fishing. There's a lot of new people, and I absolutely encourage that. And they ask me, how do I set this line up? Because I've seen people tie this directly to a hook. And I'm not making fun of them. Nobody's telling you any better. Especially if you're going to fish panfish or walleye. You really don't want to tie this straight to your hook or your jig or whatever you're going to use. What we use is our main line. And I'm going to pull this out here a little bit. I know it might be hard to see. So we use obviously our reel that goes into the uh, coated uh, line up to a swivel and then uh, two of fluorocarbon we absolutely my number one hands down favorite line on the planet is Seaguard blue label and I use this for leaders I do not use this to spool the whole spool because that would be an absolute mess because it just won't work but I use it as a leader because it's so much stronger than mono and it's also a lot harder for the fish to see also the knot strength on these when you tie a knot with this blue label it's just it, it just works um i have converted somebody and he has he's <laughs> that he's laughing he's the guy behind the camera to this stuff as well and he fishes a lot more than what i do so so line swivel the reason we do the swivel pretty simple so when that minnow spins down there and goes nuts it doesn't wind up this line as much you get all that twist you know like when you're trolling sometimes and then that just goes to whatever you want to use up front. And I've got a cool little orange thing here. And I'll show you in a second what that does. So let's first look at what we need. Some sea guard. Swivel. Your choice. Just use a barrel swivel like that. It can be fancy. It can be a cheaper one. That's not a problem. And then, of course, some split shot. The split shot just on the clear line. Uh, so that your bait doesn't move too much. You want it to swim around, but you don't want it to be swimming into your other lines. Because that's what's going to happen with things like light northerns or big shiners. And then your favorite uh, hook or jig. Uh, most commonly, this is probably the ones I like the best. Um, the blade jig from Clam is a classic. It looks a lot like a doodle bug. Or a teardrop. These are really very similar uh, jigs. And uh, they're going to be for, you know medium maybe some fat heads maybe some shiners they're not going to be ideal for light northerns because you really don't want to bury the tip of your hook into that northern you want into that light northern minnow you want to make sure that you have enough of it exposed so that's where i kind of go into these ones 
Uh, I kind of like these really wide gap hooks because if I put a light northern in there or a big shiner, they still have a lot of it exposed or even an octopus hook. Now, obviously there's a little bit less gap, but a nice number two octopus hook is going to work for a lot of different things without the fish swallowing it completely. Uh, I will say this, um, awesome company right here that makes a new long shank. You can see, Josh, I don't know if you can see that on there, but there's a long shank on that uh, jig, which is really cool. So that means uh, I can kind of, you know, use bigger bait as well with a Venom jig. Those guys right there. So then these little orange things, really believe uh, that they work. It's, it's an excellent idea. Essentially what it is, is you put your hook through here, and then when your line is wrapped, I'm not going to wrap it up here now, you can cover the hook and the line so it doesn't spool when the fish house is kind of bouncing around all over the place. So it's a really good way to store those different products. And I think that is kind of a rattle reel uh, exhibition, call it, because we have a lot of different stuff. Everything you've seen here, with the exception of some jigs, we don't really do a whole lot of jigs online. But everything you see here, you can get at GoIceFish.com. It's the season. We ship super quick, and it's free over 59 bucks. And if you need advice, call the store. Uh, if you call us, uh, just Google Smoky Hills Outdoor Store. If you call us, somebody's going to pick up the phone. You're not going to get press number one, press number two type of stuff. Somebody's going to pick up the phone, and if you need advice on any fishing stuff. If you just want to know if we have it or what the prices is, ask us. We'd be happy to help you. We can absolutely take phone orders as well. You know, it's getting into a busy season, so um, a lot of ice fishing stuff does sell out because the companies only usually order it once, maybe twice. So especially things like the different colors on the rattle reels, if you have a color that you love, like the new purple one, uh, that one is going to sell out for sure. So make sure you get those early. Absolutely love doing these videos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate everybody that comes by and says, Hey, Smoke Eels, we love your videos. I love the guys here. You have awesome staff. It's super important to us, and we really, really appreciate that. So thank you so much for watching. Comment below what you want to see. I'm going to make a bunch of videos this winter, and I'm going to go fishing. I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet, but I'm going to make some fishing videos as well this year so I can get out on the ice and not just work. Much appreciated. Stay safe out there.